All right, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Well, now we're talking about, now we've got a situation here. I'm at Starbucks right now. See, there's the cup. All right. Now let's see if we can get caught up on this. <coughs> I've challenged the presidents to debates for more than a few months now, and there's six months till November for the people to revolt, overthrow the government, and or create a new office above the president, above Congress, and above uh, the judicial system, the evil judicial system. I want to go with you over, <coughs> when I do my videos, I put on links, and you'll see words at how to hack the White House phone numbers, and you'll hear the story about how Two weeks before the Gulf oil disaster, the Secret Service threatened me with jail if I continued to hack the White House. But you can still do it, you know, dialing 202-456, and the last four numbers are the key numbers you need to dial in order to get the chief of staff. You can leave all kinds of messages on there. Now, let's really get down to brass tacks. You know, I've told you that I'm ill, that there's no real medical health facilities that really are consistent with really helping health issues of people, young and old. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, I, of course, I challenged uh, the president to a pre-presidential pre debate, and Romney and anyone else, any of the other candidates that are still running, I say they're still running. Now, I'm looking for, not write-in votes, I'm looking for the people to, to literally bring this country to a halt, just like Gandhi did. But there's nobody looking at my videos. They don't care. Maybe I rant and rave too much. But that's all right. <coughs> it's better that you see and know who you're supporting. You see their highs, emotionals. You see their low, emotional states. You see everything. You don't see that with Obama. You don't see that with Romney. They have this fake persona that's on the damn YouTube and TV. I'm about to show you something. Here's a letter supposedly from uh, President Barack. It says, do not bend. See, right there. See, and it's addressed to Caesar St. Augustine, which is another version of my name. Now, this letter is a complete written thing and it's not signed by Obama, it's stamped Obama, it's just a print, okay, copy. Dear Mr. St. Augustine, each night I get to cha chance to read about 10 letters from people across the country. He's doing the letters to the president thing, which is on YouTube. Some are inspiring, some are heartbreaking. It's almost word for word. But each one compels me to keep moving forward on this journey we started together. I didn't start it with you, guy. I'm challenging you to a pre-debate. And you don't want to answer. Not, and your secrets, you even attacked your own secret service. Like an idiot. Just so you can look all squeaky clean in the church going, in the hypocrite church going eyes of the country. Because the churches are hypocrites too. I've already said that in my other videos. Go to, go to my other videos. We're three minutes into this. He goes on to say, as I read the stories, hopes, and fears of peoples nationwide, I'm also reminded of what I told you and the American people when I was sent to the White House. I cannot do this alone. Really? Really? I asked for your help when you first got elected. I said, they're going to take me out of my house. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Oh, but because I hacked the White House phone, I'm sure the Secret Service told you, oh, don't talk to this guy. He's crazy. He's nuts. He'll give you a bad image. What bad image? Presidents get elected and they get a bad image on their own. They don't need anybody any help. And they do it by the crazy inconsistencies that are between Congress, the president, and the judicial system. It's all stupid. Dumb, ridiculous morons. So here he is. I've challenged him to a debate. And he says down here in, in darker letters, of course, they want you to read this. I hope you'll start today by sending a membership contribution of $25, $35, and $50 to the National Democratic National Committee. Democrats are fighting hard for this blah, 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 blah. All right. I've said enough of that. And, of course, it's supposedly signed by him, and which that really isn't his signature. That's a copy of his signature because he doesn't have time. He's too busy to help a person 
protect a person from their house being burnt, from their cars and trucks and boats and motorhomes being towed away by evil laws and evil inconsistencies. Of course, he gives me a business reply envelope, but you know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to fill it with all this other garbage right here. Linda Parks must be going blind, wearing blinders. She happens to like horses. So it's an attack on her by the House Majority PAC Committee at uh, 70. 713th Street, Northwest, number 600, Washington, D.C., zip code 20005. I can't do the, all of these because we're already five minutes into this. And it shows these two guys and whatever, and they're all talking about how, how bad she is and she wasted our money, blah, 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 blah. So there's one attack, okay? I don't care if she's Democrat or Republican. It's all a farce anyway. Bilderberg Committee. Then you have this other woman over here. Oh, oh no, another guy. Jeff Gorell, State Assembly, blah, blah, blah. Third generation naval officer, blah, 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 blah. None of these people ever helped me. Did these people ever help me? Hell no. Not one of them did. Fighting for American jobs. Tony Strickland, here's another one. By the way, I found these all in the trash, okay? These are all trash things. Look at this. We got a guy here, Todd Zink. Look how many they sent. One version too many train wrecks another one uh oh voters uh democrat republicans against each 30 percent of voters say they're fed up with part partisan gridlock here's another one same one todd zinc uh oh same thing voters okay see they repeat oh, another train wreck okay there's another they're showing you california's budget is now 15.7 billion in the red and that will be saved by tom zinc if you re-elect him and put him in or elect him and put him in whatever office he's running who cares? All right. Now here's another one. <clears throat> All these morons are running. Uh, who is this? Julia Bromley, named 2010 environmental champ champion. Here she is. Here's her picture. I I'll show her. Okay. It's clear to see. Looks like a calendar picture. Look at that. Oh my God. How much money did they spend on that? Taxpayers' money. Contributors. Stupid people. Hypocrites. Here's another one. When others tried to sweep it under the carpet, Julia Bromley didn't, okay? Okay, Democrat. Okay. Okay. And then, and here's another one where they're using people, uh, different people just out of the blue saying, oh, look, my daughter is safe because Julia Bromley support her for Congress. There's another one, uh, another Julia Bromley. Oh, this woman says, oh, I'm the, there's only one pro-choice. And then another one. There's another lady that's using a different picture of a possible voter. Only one, only one choice, you know. This is all uh, psychological programming, you know. Let's see who else. Tori Osborne on the 5th uh, Assembly, 50 District, okay. The police are on her side. Oh, my God, the pigs, the lousy pigs are on her side. All right, and here's another one. Doesn't matter who won. It's after. It's June. It's June ninth uh, now. And you're about to shut me out of my storage. Mayor Richard Reardon is for Mr. Bloomfield. Here he is holding, holding. Um, the guy against him was Christopher David and Bloomfield. Here he is holding two. Uh, where is that? Where's the one where he's holding two babies? The, the standard politician thing of. Holding two babies. Oh, there he is. Look, holding two babies. And of course, if I showed you my pictures, you'd see pictures from Iraq and Afghanistan showing the same size babies like that, maimed, their arms, their legs blown to pieces and all that by friendly fire. You won't see this on the national news because these people are all liars. They're hypocrites. They go to church and they pray and they say, uh, well, let me pray for you. Excuse me. Don't pray for me because no prayer in the world is going to bring back my property, my stuff. All right. Who else is down here? Another moron. What's this guy's name? Richard Bloom for assembly. There he is. Okay. With his wife and whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. More crapola. By the way, all this stuff, you know, definitely was in the trash, which means there's a lot of people that aren't voting. He sent me five of these. Why is this? We need Richard Bloom and the assembly to do what's right for our kids. Well, does he pay taxes? Did his taxes blow up children in Iraq and Afghanistan by friendly fire? Probably. So, but they show them with kids here. Oh, oh, I see. Those kids are from Iraq and Afghanistan. They deserve to die. Only American kids should be safe. Okay. 
So let's go on. Let's see. What's another? Oh, he's for the fire department here. And, and you know, he's got a picture of a fire department thing, thing, you know. Same people that came to my property and towed my stuff out of my yard, attacked me over and over again. So these kids should be safe, but other kids in the world can't. You can't blow up other people's children and then save, them, save, save others at the same time. Remember what I said about DNA? It's Russian roulette. You don't know who's going to be the next mental giant and whether you have damaged the earth and its true progress by doing what you've done. So see, you really don't care. You only care about getting the money. Comment card. Oh, your opinions are important to us. President Obama. As I work with my team to build our progress and pursue our common goals and vision. I don't have a common goal with you, buddy. I want to debate you to bury you in the debate. In one debate during the bush Kerry campaign, I buried four candidates. I got more than 90% of the vote. That's what you're scared of. You're scared of people like me because I will bury you and Bromney and every other politician in this country. You're all crooks. Along with the people who give you money, they're crooks too. So, I don't know. You know, I could talk about this forever. In the meantime, I'm going through problems. My, bu my only home, my bus, for more than 20 years was finally sold off. My life, my liberties, my, my, all my progress, all my goals destroyed. Even my health was destroyed. Supplements were in those vehicles. Nobody cared because they judged me by looks. That's what they judged me by, by looks. Who am I? The elephant man? Should I wear a, a scarf over my head? Am I that ugly? Oh, no. It's your possessions that are ugly, Caesar. And we don't want to see them on the street. We don't want to see them parked here and there. Well, I had them parked everywhere because I wanted to move out of California. And you people trapped me here. So now you're going to take everything from me, leave me with nothing. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Because your country, your state did that to me, you're all going to be destroyed in the next earthquake. And it's only going to happen, believe it or not, because you did what you did to me and you did what you did to other people. You make people homeless. You don't, you don't protect people. You don't protect their possessions. You don't protect their lifestyles. You do this crap. Oh, and he also sends me a picture. I value your ongoing support. What support? I've never said I'm a Democrat or a Republican. So why am I on their mailing list? Ah, Federal Election Commission. They probably hand that over to him. You know, how does he vote? If you really want leadership, you should have elected me a long, long time ago. You elected the wrong people to office. And you took this country in the wrong direction. And actually, I don't have to do anything to prove what I've just said. You're proving it every day. You're proving it every day by <clears throat> the complaints of people, by the tons of garbage that I find, all the political stuff that I find, the tons and tons of political stuff that is just unbelievably crazy. You know, where does all that money come? And oh, and it's color too. Look at this. I mean, years ago, you couldn't afford that. Color, slick, glossy. That's a lot of money. Why should you vote for these people? What is wrong with all of you? You should be watching my videos. You should watch all 200 of them. Because I'm sure, and you should be supporting me 100% to overthrow the lousy country. But you know what? They've got you addicted. Got you addicted to your cars, your trucks, your trailers, your way of life, your washing machines, your cell phones. I see people more on that cell phone playing with the doing the hand thing and da 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 da. I see more people doing that than they're doing to support really change in this country, the right kind of change. I see people supporting their cars and washing them in the car wash, looking so perfect and clean. Oh my God, if it gets scratched, it's the end of the world. Don't you see what I'm saying? You people have all your priorities in the wrong place. And because of it, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a lot more than you realize. 
And we're going to go to part two on this in a minute. On June 8th, 2012. June 9th, excuse me, 2012. So here we go.